are here with the number one ranked team and probably they're still going to be the number one ranked team after the, the, the whole rankings are updated because they did so well in this race. This is Estonian Isla Sportiva. Uh, thank you guys for being here. And the first question that we would have to you guys is you had some added stress uh, be before the race because you were lacking some gears and uh, boxes. You, you got just the boxes uh, half an hour before the race. Do you feel like that added stress somehow uh, did something to your performance? Yes, uh, I think 24 hours before the race. Uh, uh, may maybe it was me that uh, s who said that uh, maybe we shouldn't go because we didn't have the proper stuff. But, um, anyway, Captain Silver uh, was very eager and uh, managed to gather things for the first uh, stages, borrow them. And uh, then we decided we start it, start the race, and see how it goes. So, so uh, of course, the beginning of the preparations was not so good because the last night at three o'clock I was in the airport uh, waiting for the boxes. Some of them came, some of not. So it was added stress that we still don't have. Uh, everything we need and uh, just before the start we had to fix the bikes uh, put something in the boxes and I uh, hope that uh, during the race uh, rest of it will arrive so because we were lacking a bit food but we could share like uh, some so uh, <coughs> so it was a little bit stressful and uh, I think we maybe were not rested enough uh, for the race, but otherwise we we could start well because the first legs we we were covered un until the end of the kayak. So uh, yeah, but of course uh, during the race uh, this also affected us because um, in the boxes uh, we really didn't know what we have and we had to just look into the boxes and. Uh, managed to get something for the next uh, stage and uh, sometimes we had to carry extra weight uh, because we had uh, stuff in the wrong boxes. We, for instance, at one point I had to carry extra 24 hour food for the next stages and so yeah, it was difficult but uh, I wouldn't say it affected our race but uh, it made it more unusual and complicated. Uh, yeah, uh, I must say a big thank you to all other uh, racers who helped us in this uh, situation. So uh, the local racing community found uh, some paddles and uh, and the BFTs for us, and uh, uh, our big uh, competitors, uh, Swedish Armed Forces, came out and uh, gave a lot of uh, climbing gear and uh, very good climbing gear and the uh, Czech team, the Greener team, and uh, of course uh, the Blizzard team who came with uh, helmets, paddles, and, and uh, clothes, <laughs> and the uh, Ecuador team, and, uh, and many others were very supportive, so big thank you. Okay, now we all, see, we all saw that you were uh, doing so well, even though you had those problems in the pre-race, uh, but at some, somehow at, at the last trekking leg, you had some problems. Could you please explain what happened at that moment? About this, uh, how the race end turned out. Uh, I've been analyzing it a bit in the last couple of days. And, uh, and the main problem was the sleep deprivation that uh, kept uh, coming and coming and coming. So. Uh, we ha had our media person uh, uh, with us in every transition and when I look at the uh, interviews uh, we gave, so after about the third night uh, the interviews start started to uh, consist more of um, the suffering or, or of uh, sleep deprivation and, and the problems with it. So I was 
in each transition a little bit more stressed about uh, the problems with sleep deprivation and uh, actually uh, we hadn't planned for a five night race so it was four night race at most what we planned for and uh, that was also the sleep strategy for us so we had the uh, first night without sleep second night with a one and a half hour third night one and a half hour fourth night when we were supposed to be the last one, then we were thinking we're going to push through, but we slept a little bit. But uh, fifth night, uh, <coughs> even though we had plenty of time, uh, we were making wrong decision of uh, not sleeping enough before we go to the, uh, this last trekking. And, uh, and it uh, uh, really, really affected our judgments there and uh, capabilities of navigation. If we would have been, uh, no, maybe even like one and a half hours sleeping, it could have helped. There is also a, a question of luck that can you find this checkpoint or not. But uh, maybe it, we were already over the top a little bit because also uh, Swedish Armed Forces had this problem. And uh, uh, But Avaya, who sleep longer from the beginning, they, you know, they are... It's their experience that says, the, and they are experienced in long races. Their Godson race is always like five days and uh, more, and the, uh, and that's why uh, their sleep strategy was definitely better this time, and, uh, and that's a big part of their success. I think. Uh, what are the next plans for for the Sonia Isla Sportiva? How uh, what are, are you planning to do next year? If you already figured out which races you want to go, or if you just want to take a break, train longer, whatever is uh, your plan for next year. Um, on the on the next year, we have uh, at the moment at least uh, three quite certain uh, plan. Like uh, one is uh, on the winter uh, time, it's uh, God Zone in New Zealand, and then uh, we have released uh, to uh, Faroe Island. Uh, the World Series uh, event and also of course um, on the autumn there is next World Championship in uh, South Africa and we are also um, planning to take part uh, some shorter events and, and we are also uh, organize uh, Euro, Euro Series uh, event in Estonia called, called Expedition Estonia. So there you have it. This is the number one ranked team in the world, Estonia Isla Sportiva. Great guys, uh, great racers also. They had some bad luck this year uh, with a pre-race and then during the race, probably because they were lacking some sleep. But they're sure the number one contenders for next year. And we hope you see you guys next year in, those, in, those, in all those events that you just said. Thank you very much, guys.